and I see my plan has worked to get more slides. Um, thank you, Melissa. Um, I am uh, Joseph Mugel, I'm uh, the area head of photography imaging, and um, this evening, um, this would have made more sense, but I was going to have a pun of like, I'll tell you the whole story behind my artistic practice. Um, my creative research uh, spans genre performance, video, and photography while engaging with topics of site specificity through a field-based practice. In some of my projects, uh, the transformation of the landscape occurs through my own physical efforts, while others, the change, I document or the changes are those that which I document from virtual interventions through software renderings of broken landscapes and user navigation. There I am. I also thought that the whole would be um, fitting for our uh, pandemic times here. Um, it's through these video performance that I interact with resources um, available to me. Um, I'm kind of starting here with some of my earlier work of um, from my undergraduate time, and it's it's sort of guided a lot of my thinking about photography. Um, these are are slices of performances that I captured with the camera. And I really don't think of myself as a photographer that is looking to take scenes, but so much as someone who uses photography to document, whether it's a performance or still lifes or actions within that space. And I speak about digging holes. And during my time in the Marine Corps, I dug holes or more accurately had to move holes. And here I was invited to Marquette's campus to do one of my digging is of holes where I've documented the space um, from sunrise to sunset as I emerge into the landscape here. And then this video that you see off to the left is me having mon petit déjeuner as I am assaulted by seagulls from above. And this here is another uh, still from a, a video performance. Um, and this is uh, Xanthos ex plasticia. Um, and that is uh, the scientific name for the yellow bird in which I'm blowing through right there, which is a, a nightingale. Um, nightingales who briefly came to the Americas through a misguided attempt to colonize them here, um, which represents um, all of these sort of invasive species in which have been brought over by human be humans' efforts to colonize. And I think about that and when I come to think about this new body of work, which is herbarium. And herbarium um, is my investigation, and I like to think of it more so as how do I explain to my children the natural world that once was and allow room for the natural world that will and must emerge. Um, and it's through these investigations that I begin to think about our scientific endeavors, but also how one can find magic, and ultimately, how do I remember what is the color of ash, thinking about the ash tree itself. Um, I mentioned performance and document. Um, these are a series of images called effortless, and this is the uh, the cedar rendition of it up top. And what I've included in this uh, rendering here is to see also the uh, use of the uh, 4x5 camera to document this performance, but also how the 4x5 camera negates my performance, which is what you see here in the bottom left. And um, this gives you a sense of the scale of the trees in which over the course of 51 hours, 28 minutes, and 56 seconds, I removed all of the trees from that landscape to get my rolling hills. And I continue this endeavor. Um, what better thing to do when first moving to Wisconsin, but then to decide to shovel a frozen lake? Um, I don't know if I would do that now, given the uh, the mildness of the winters, but um, this first endeavor up top took uh, 47 hours, 23 minutes and 51 seconds. And I used the camera to remove, again, my own efforts while I'm meditating on the ideal of site interventions on a human scale. And this lower one here is out west and Tanaha, where I'm removing the water from the landscape. Um, I'm ultimately fascinated by how photography allows me to see things in the world, but also to show others what, what I see within the world itself. Um, and I experiment quite a bit. And this is this is an apparatus that I built called, that I refer to as the water lens, which allows me to both see what is beneath the surface of the water while simultaneously looking at the landscape surrounding the water surface itself. And you can see some of the, uh, the little critters that I've encountered through these images. Um, again, I mentioned experimentation. Um, I think about the past, the present, and the future, um, both in my conceptual practice of thinking about the images and context that I'm engaging with, but also in the use of technologies. And so here I'm using um, to create images, looking at Google Maps and using a historical process called the Ambrotype to reproduce them. And as you can see, here is um, Devil's Tower changing over time. I've revisited it three times virtually, and it seems to be diminishing. Um, I'm looking at historical images, and through these historical images, I am 
beginning to reinvestigate the landscape in the virtual space. And ultimately, um, in those endeavors, I find that the landscape breaks, prove that the world is flat, and beneath Weber's Canyon is the Milky Way. Thank you, Joseph. That was intense. Oh, you have oh no, more? I have one more. I just ran out of time. Um, <laughs> caught up with my slides. Um, and this last one is a dendrolopia, um, which is trace of the tree um, where I'm collecting stumps and putting them in my studio for a period of time. And then I'm photographing them in a high resolution um, in this sense of looking at absence as these uh, critters begin to sort of escape their dying world, which is the stumps. Um, and this is sort of my last, um, or my current body work in my last slides here. Thank you. 